guys, what's up? It's Sasha, and today's video is going to be why we chose to adopt, and I guess our adoption story. A lot of you guys have been requesting this ever since I basically vanished off of YouTube, and I will explain that really quickly before I get into the whole video. So pretty much whenever we were fighting for custody of Kaysen, our oldest, um, it was a whole CPS battle due to his birth mom, and our lawyer instructed me to stop posting, and then after that I kind of just completely just was had no motivation to do YouTube anymore. I was struggling with really bad depression due to my dad passing away. And I really just was not in the right mindset to do YouTube. But now I am totally healthy. I am back to my normal self and I am ready to actually do YouTube. I'm sorry if the lighting is like kind of orange. Um, I need to buy new studio lights. We just recently moved and I got rid of them before we moved. So for now, the lighting's just gonna be a little wonky, but I plan to buy new studio lights soon. So for the actual video, we have two boys. Kaysen is four and Beckham just turned one in May. Kaysen is Ryan's biological son. When Ryan and I were just dating, he got a call from Child Protective Services and they said that they believe the child in their custody was Ryan's. Kaysen's birth mom told Ryan while she was pregnant that she cheated and he was not the father and that's why he didn't try like to get him like whenever he was born I guess because he was under the impression he was not the father. He ended up in CPS custody due to abuse from his birth mom and immediately when we got that phone call I told him get a DNA test if he's yours we will fight for him and so that's what we did he got a dna test it came back that he was the father and we fought for custody of him in may 2017 we got custody of Kaysen, and Kaysen was one at the time august 2018 is when i adopted him um, it was a step parent adoption so that one's a little bit different than a normal adoption that one was a lot easier than a normal adoption there's not too much of a process for a step parent adoption they do like a home visit um, you meet with a guardian ad litem which is basically a lawyer that has the child's best interest at heart um, and then we met with our lawyer and then you go in front of the judge and that's pretty much it for his adoption It was pretty easy. It took a little bit of a little bit of time like we started the adoption process probably the beginning of 2018 and we I didn't legally adopt him until the end of August in 2018 and the reason I chose to adopt Kaysen is because Honestly, I've seen him as my own since the day we got custody of him. I've always treated him as my own. I've always treated him as if he's been my biological child. He chose for me to adopt him because we did not want to risk if something were to happen to Ryan that he would be returned to his birth mom because that would not be safe for him. It would be putting his health and life at risk. And so that's another reason why I chose to adopt him, other than the obvious that I love him to death. And he, it has been great. He's an amazing child. He's a little sassy, but what do I expect? He's my kid. Before I get into Beckham's adoption story, the reason why we chose to adopt is I was diagnosed with PCOS shortly after Ryan and I got married, which if you don't know what PCOS is, it's polycystic ovarian syndrome. And if y'all want a whole video about infertility, I can do that as well. Basically, Ryan and I tried for a baby since before we got custody of Kaysen. We were trying pretty quickly and I got pregnant right away and I miscarried and then we didn't want to stop trying so we kept trying and I just kept miscarrying. I've had seven miscarriages. We did um, fertility treatments by taking medication and they all worked. I conceived but I would miscarry. Finally in like I want to say April of last year I told Ryan I was like Honestly, I'm done doing fertility treatments. I really don't have the desire. I don't really care if I have a biological child or not because ever since I was a little girl, I always said I wanted to adopt. So that was my plan. The crazy thing is, is literally like a week later, a really close family friend texted me and was like, hey, I need to talk to you. I was like, what's up? And she was like, well, I'm in this situation where I'm pregnant and I can't keep the baby. I was wondering if you and Ryan would like to adopt. And of course I said yes. She was, she didn't know how far along she was, she had zero prenatal care and that kind of scared us at first but I ended up booking a 3D ultrasound for that like following weekend after she told us and we saw the baby and got to find out the gender and we found out he was a boy and then two weeks later he was born. His adoption was very pricey, very stressful. We had to like rush everything. We had to rush a home study. 
we had a rush like a lawyer since he was born in a different state that we resided in he was born in Tennessee he lives in Kentucky even though they're like literally like we live in like the border of both states here's Kentucky here's Tennessee and we're like right in the middle we needed a lawyer in both states because it's just how it works and then we had to go through ICPC process which is like interstate placement center something like that where basically they have to approve of you taking the baby out of state which I thought was ridiculous because he was literally born like so close to my house but whatever it was a process after you bring the baby home you have to wait six months it's different in each state but Tennessee well Kentucky was six months before you can legally adopt so for the first six months of his life we just had full custody his birth parents didn't have rights during that time frame so nobody could have came and like took him away we have had him since the day he was born he was born May 16th 2019 I was at the hospital during the c-section and I stayed in the hospital the whole entire time and he came straight home from the hospital with us he has been home with us ever since I do have a couple questions from y'all from Instagram that I'm going to go ahead and answer even though it doesn't really go with this video but it's okay the first one is what is your favorite part about being a mom honestly I love all of it there's nothing that I don't like about it but honestly like my favorite part would be like when they first wake up in the morning and I'm the first person they look for and like the minute they open their eyes they're both mama or mommy and it's just the cutest thing but honestly I love like everything about it the next thing is how does it feel to be a mom really depends on the day some days I will say it's super easy and it's super rewarding it's always rewarding but others I will say it's stressful and overwhelming it really depends on the day and what the kids are doing at the moment but overall I I love it it's like it's the best thing that happened to me truthfully I was going down a really bad path and then my kids came into my life and completely changed me I needed it honestly I did Kaysen is napping by the way that's why he's not down here in the video next question is do you regret being a young mom no absolutely not as I said I was going down a really really bad path and I truthfully think if I didn't become a mom I I don't even think I would be here today to be honest like that sounds bad but I really I think I needed like I don't know how to explain it to be honest like I was so depressed y'all and my kids tr truthfully saved me But yeah, my kids truthfully saved me and I don't regret being a young mom at all. I always knew I was going to be a young mom. I just didn't know how young. Well, I didn't know I'd be a mom at 19, but I knew I'd be a young mom. I think that is basically it for our adoption story. I don't really have much more info. I'm sorry it wasn't super interesting. I do plan on doing videos like more, a video more in depth of each of the boys like by themselves adoption stories. But I just wanted to like do a little overview of it all. I will talk to you guys next time. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye guys.